Debbie Marcoux is licensed by the Department of Business Oversight under the California Residential Mortgage Lender Act, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504, Florida, 76508, Georgia, 69178, Illinois, 031.0058339, Nevada, 57237, Oregon, Tennessee, 184373, Texas, Washington, 237926. Heidi Cycle Points, DBO, 1666881, Arizona, 101648. Uh, Matt. All righty. We're going to try this little clicker again today and see if we can make it happen. So it is on. And I am pushing which button? The play button? The forward button. The, there's a left and a right. You're going to press the right button. All right. There, we, there we go. Look at that. Woohoo! All right. So this just brings you guys to uh, how do you get a hold of us? Uh, how do you know what your monthly payment's going to be? Download my phone app. It's truly very amazing. It's going to help you guys immensely, especially when you're window shopping on Redfin and Zillow and Realtor.com. It's going to tell you everything that you need to know. You can plug in the program. If it is a jumbo loan that you're trying to figure out your monthly payment, you're still going to go ahead and click on that conventional button. But we've got FHA, we have VA, we have USDA. So you can choose the different loan programs. And then you're just going to put in all of the information that you need to know and it's going to run or, you know, all the information about the property you're looking at, and then it's going to run a month, uh, monthly payment for you. So uh, it's a very, very good. If you don't know exactly what to put in, you're not sure what to put in for property taxes, you're not sure what to put in for uh, homeowner's insurance or what kind of interest rate to put in there, just send me an email. It's really that simple. In the phone app, if you download it, you can actually click email Debbie, email Heidi, ask us the question, and we're going to get you the information so that you can play around on your own. Part of that calculator will also do the information for you. Um, it, it's an affordability calculator. If you've been thinking about refinancing, does it make sense for me? Should I do a refinance? Am I going to save enough money? There's a refinance calculator. So you're going to pick purchase affordability or refinance, and then it's going to take you into the screen. But you could contact the entire team. You can email me, Carrie, Heidi, um, Larry. Everybody's in there, Cindy, and you can actually reach out to one of us directly. So it's nice for the contact piece. You can call us right from the phone app. You can watch the um, the YouTube's live at five on Wednesday, right from the phone app, and you can listen to the podcast. So if you're a big podcast person, just click on that, listen to the podcast. We've also got the home buyer workshops on there. So if you want to click on that, it'll take you to those so that you can follow along as we do them week by week. So how do you get that phone phone app? Well, you need to text the word mom to three six two six zero. So the telephone number is three six two six zero. Type the word mom and it is going to text you a link. When you get that link, go ahead and click on it, save it to your home screen, and you now have the Mortgage Mom Radio phone app. So pretty darn cool, and it's gonna give you, again, just a lot of tools right at your fingertips so that you don't have to, or maybe you're not quite ready to give us a call. Um, so when you are ready to give us a call, though, and if you don't have the phone app, which you should, then you guys can reach out to us through Facebook. You can watch our YouTubes. You can give us a call. It's 844-935-3634. And you guys can um, Yelp us. If you guys are really enjoying the information that we're providing to you, we're doing this for free every single week. It's educational. If you appreciate it, please give us a Yelp review or go to Google and give us a review. Do something to help us spread the word. We'd really appreciate that. And then also, if you guys are watching on YouTube, we've got to get you guys to give us a thumbs up, please. Um, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. And make sure that you click on that little notification bell to turn on all. That way you know every single time that we go live. If you're watching from Facebook, if that's your favorite sitch, totally cool, um, just make sure that you follow the page. So like the video, follow the page, and every time that we go live, you'll know that we're there. So those are the best ways for you to get in touch with us. Oh, and of course, mortgagemomradio.com. How could I miss that? Anything you do from the phone app, you can do from the website. So if you guys are computer people and you like to turn it on and search around on the computer, go to mortgagemomradio.com. You can do your application. You can do everything from there. And you can do all of it from the phone app as well. So we got a problem, Matt. I can't switch the page. Oh, hold on. Let's tr try again. All right. Let's see. There we go. Woohoo. All right. So loan pro <laughs> programs. <laughs> and um, this is just giving you a bunch of little pictures, right? So Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, we already talked about conventional. Go back to an old video and watch that one if you want to hear more about conventional loans. We've talked about VA. We've talked about FHA. So today we're going to talk about jumbo. And I've got here a big old elephant and it says it's back and in a big way. The reason that I have that, I actually picked that one, is that there was a period of time where number one, jumbo had just completely left. Then Jumbo came back. Then we had COVID and things got really difficult again. Things are now back. You know, we're, we're getting back in the swing again. So um, Jumbo is back. It's back in a big way. We've got a lot of product, a lot of programs available for you. 
And um, let's just dive right in and talk about Jumbo. You ready, Heidi? I'm ready. Heidi even brought notes with her. She printed notes out <laughs> because she said, I don't know what you're going to throw at me <laughs> that I'm not going to know how to answer. So I brought my notes. <laughs> Just so you know, there's a lot of information. <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot. There's a lot of lenders. That is one nice thing about working with us. We are not direct to, um, you know, we're not working for one particular bank. So we're not just direct to one particular bank. We've actually got about, I think it's five, maybe six different lenders that we can actually choose from. And they all have different underwriting guidelines. And somebody might fit into one product better than another. For example, if you are getting, uh, if you have a, a non-occupying co-borrower, there is only one loan program that we have. There is one lender that will allow that in Jumbo. Um, but there, you know, there's uh, maybe if you need a gift, then there's going to be certain lenders that will allow a gift on Jumbo. Other lenders won't. So it's really going to depend on you and your situation and where we need to get you there. So, all right. Um, Shelly, it looks like Shelly's got a question for us, but you've got to read them, Matt, because my oh, eyes aren't that good. Uh, sorry, Shelly. Oh, I let me backtrack for a second. I okay. was getting messages about the show. Thank you, Tay, <laughs> for pointing out that the subscribe button was a little too small. <laughs> okay. um, and then Shelly on Facebook asked, what's the minimum uh, down for a jumbo? So minimum down payment for a jumbo really depends on the lender that you go to. The lowest down payment that I have seen is 10%. There's some pretty strict guidelines around 10% down on a jumbo, and most people will not qualify for that. You have to have an extremely high credit score, and you need to have 18 to 24 months of reserves in the bank. Well, if you've got the reserves in the bank, why are you doing 10% down? So um, it, it does exist. I don't personally do them. We don't do them here. Me and Heidi don't have that loan program available, but if somebody is looking for it. We do. Oh. We do. Okay. Um, yeah. So we do. We didn't for, as of like a week ago. <laughs> we do have it. All right. Um, well, look at that. Jumbo so is back in a big way. <laughs> Jumbo is back in a big way. Right. And um, th now I'm talking purchase. Okay. Right. Not so minimum finance. down payment, 10%. Minimum FICO, 700. And you, depending on your purchase price, okay, it can be anywhere from nine months reserves to 18 months reserves. And this is for a primary residence only. Okay, so nine to 18 months of reserves. Nine so to 18 months reserves and a minimum of 700 FICO score. Well, that is still better than the big bank that I was thinking of that has the 10% mm -hmm. down program. So that's actually pretty cool. And I love that you actually brought all of those notes. So look at that. You stumped me, Heidi. You did it. I, well, I've been reading a lot on these because I've done quite a few lately. Yeah. And so I have looked at a lot of different programs and what we can and can't do. And they have stumped me. So I'm, there you go. And you know, this is kind of my wheelhouse. So I'm. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. Um, so, okay, okay. So let's start here. Loan amounts larger than what is a jumbo loan, right? It's a loan amount larger than the county loan limit in the area where you live. So if you're out in a, a county where your maximum loan size for a conventional loan is 548 to 50, anything a dollar over that is going to be considered jumbo. If you're in a an area that your county limit is 822, 375, you're in a high balance area or a high cost area, then it's going to be $1 over that gets you into jumbo. So that is what is going to consist of what is a jumbo loan. You've got to be above those different loan sizes based on the county that you're in. And, and I actually take it back. Yeah. There is a program, depending on your loan amount, we can even do a FICO score down to 680 with reserves down to six months. Wow. Very good. That is nice. And and that is kind of where I was saying that the benefit is that we've got five, six different lenders that we can go yes. to. So not every single lender is going to have that program. Not every single lender is going to have the same guidelines. So it's, it's, thank God that you printed all of that because it's like flipping through the different pages to try Correct. to figure out where the person is going to fit the best mm -hmm. and which lender it's going to work for. Now, mind yeah. you, if you're doing 10% down with a 680 credit score on a jumbo loan, don't expect to have a really low interest rate. You're probably no. going to be somewhere between four and four and a half percent. Even right now today, where interest rates are very, very, very low threes, maybe even dipping into twos. So um, expect that you're going to have a hike in that rate for a little mm -hmm. bit more risk in the product. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And you can do it on more than one unit. Oh, that's good, too, because most of the time they don't like that. Yes. Yes. You can do it on a two to four unit as well. 
Very nice. I like it. Look at that. Keep going, Heidi. Keep going. <laughs> hey, I told you I was prepared. I love today. it. I love it. Um, so we got a couple more questions. Um, Shelly uh, followed up on that one asking if 401k counts as reserves. So sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. Uh, majority of the, the lenders that we work with do allow the 401k as reserves. Um, do you see anything special about that, Heidi, in any yeah. of your paperwork? So in, I would say, 95% of our investors will allow you to use 401k as reserves. However, your reserves as a 401k, unless you liquidate them, can only be 50% of the required reserves. So if you have to have six months, you can only have three months of those reserves as your 401k or any non-liquid asset. There you go. All right. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, and then on YouTube, Heather asked, can you do a 80-10-10 for a jumbo? Um, no, not yeah. at this point. No, okay. we cannot. Okay. I was waiting for you to say something because everything that I that I seem to know seems to be wrong. But 80-10-10, um, <laughs> uh, I've never seen a jumbo actually allow that. 10% no. down, yes. One solid straight loan, 90%, yes. But an 80-10-10, no. And then uh, Houseboat Billy is back on YouTube, says, hello, girls. Oh, Houseboat Billy, so good to see you. Thank you so much for hello. watching. And again, everybody out there listening on Saturday morning, you guys could get in on the fun and you could be asking all of these questions if you were watching us live at 5 on YouTube on Wednesdays. So check out our channel, subscribe, turn on the notification bell. That way you know when we go live, you don't miss the show, and you can ask us all those questions uh, right here while we do it live. So... All right. Awesome. Thank you, Houseboat Billy. So great to hear from you. And it's so great to see you there. All right. So here we go. Um, interest only. So jumbo loans, uh, we don't have any conforming loan products right now. FHA, VA, conforming Fannie Freddie, um, USDA. N none of those loan programs are going to allow for interest only. We just don't have that product. It doesn't exist. Uh, jumbo loans do allow some for an interest only product. The last time that I looked it up, and I'm, I'm talking like maybe a week or two ago, somebody had asked me about it. None of the lenders that we had were allowing for interest only. Now, are you seeing anything different in your paperwork, Heidi? No. Okay. We're still not doing interest only with our investors. Okay. So if you want to know who is doing interest only, not a big deal. Send me an email. Go to my website. Contact me. Use the phone app. Send me an email. Whatever you guys got to do. Um, but I can actually get you uh, the information which banks right now do still have interest only as an option. Now, remember, if you do want interest only payment, you are going to need a bigger down typically than you would for the principal and interest, but you can talk to that lender since we don't write them. I'm not gonna give you all the specifics and the guidelines. I will get you over to the right person to talk to so that you can uh, learn about those loan programs if that is something that you're interested in. All right, but it does exist. Jumbo allows the interest yeah. only. All right, Matt, I can't move. Try it one more time. All right, there we go. All right, so lender-specific guidelines. That is what I was actually just talking about before. So Jumbo does not follow Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac's rules, doesn't follow FHA or VA's rules. Every single Jumbo loan has an actual investor. And Wells Fargo is an investor. Bank of America is an investor. Uh, uh, Chase. Chase. Uh, JP Morgan, believe it or not, is not Chase. They are actually two separate things when yep. it comes to lending. Um, so each different lender has their own specific guidelines. And that's why we say, depending on you, your scenario and situation, we're going to try to fit you into the right loan program to make sure that we get that loan closed for you. So, you know, if you just go sp straight to a bank, that bank is going to give you their guidelines and say yes or no. If you come to us, we can actually go through all of the different guidelines, talk about you and your scenario and figure out which program and product is going to work best for you. Uh, Carrie over on YouTube has joined us as our bank statement lender is doing interest only. That is awesome, Carrie. And guess what? When we get into our bank statement program, you are going to be in Heidi's hot seat and you are going to, <laughs> <laughs> and you are going to be giving everybody all of the details on bank statements. Just so you all know, those do still exist. We do mm -hmm. have them. Those are great stated income, basically loans. We're calculating by the, what is in your bank statement. And um, hi, uh, Carrie has definitely become our bank statement guru. So um, it looks like, what'd she say? She, she commented again. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, you're going to be in that hot seat, girl. So oh, get bank ready. bank statement loans are fun. They are. Get ready. But they do work. They're great. We've got, we just recently closed one, and we've got two more to close right now. 
Um, they're, they're definitely there. They're there for a reason. And they really do help people that maybe aren't showing self-employed and they're not showing the income that they need. Or maybe they have a rental property and they need that rental property to qualify on its own. There's many, many programs like that. So we will be talking about non-QM loans, bank statement products. That will be another piece of the puzzle in another week. We'll go through USDA and then carry your on. So start getting ready, girl. You got like two weeks. All right. So here we go. Oh, look at that. I'm already into USDA. That's the next one. So we're just about done. Is there anything? Sp oh, let's talk about reserves. I don't have that on this sheet, but I think it's really important. We have talked about reserves quite a few times. You've thrown out nine to 18 months. You've thrown out six months. Um, let's tell everybody what is reserves. What can they count on? What does that mean? Oh, me. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> you. I'm here. I, I have something else super exciting to share. But okay. We'll wait. All right. All okay. right. So reserves. Reserves are liquid and non-liquid funds. So that's your checking account, savings account, your IRA, your 401k. So any money you have saved set aside that we can show proof of and source that is holding in your account. So those are your reserves. And whenever we say you need six months, okay, I'm just going to go with a single family, okay? Yes. <laughs> six months, that's principal, interest, taxes, and insurance. Possibly HOAs, depending on how they're writing it, okay? So if you're, well, I'm going to go with $1,000 because I don't calculate math as fast as Debbie does. But if your payment is $1,000, principal, interest, taxes, and insurance, then you have to have $6,000 of reserves in your bank account. If the investor says, that you can have 50% in a non-liquid account, your IRA, your 401k, anything non-liquid, then you can have 3,000 in your checking savings stocks, those are liquid, and then you can have 3,000 in your vested amount in your IRA or your 401k, but we only utilize 60% of your vested. So we take your vested, Take 60% of that, and then that amount equates to your, you have to have $3,000 of that. Right. I'm sure I just made it very confusing. Yeah. Well, so in layman's terms, um, if yeah. you, if the mortgage payment's going to be $1,000 a month, which includes everything, taxes, insurance, and uh, principal and interest, then if it's a six month requirement, then you're going to have to have $6,000. If it's 12 month requirement, you're going to have to have $12,000. It depends on the lender again, which lender are we sending you to? What is their reserve requirement? Typically, what Heidi's trying to say is, let's say your 401k has $50,000 in it and you need $6,000 for reserves, we can only use 50%. So we, we can, even if you have 50,000 in that retirement account, we're only going to say three grand is being used from the retirement account. You're still going to have to have the other 50% liquid, which is that other $3,000. So it, uh, hopefully that kind of makes a little bit more sense. Um, and what you were saying made total sense, Heidi. It's just, you know, right. <laughs> Sometimes it's, it's hard. You got to break it down. Right. And we talk right. it every day. We talk all the words and assets and reserves and um, vested. And, you know, these are words that are like, oh, my God. It's been an amazing if you guys were all wondering, I'm not a good trainer. <laughs> yes, so. you are. yes, you are. You did great. You did great. Um, but basically, that's what reserves are. You, you've got to have the money. And it's and, and typically, most of the time, reserves cannot be a gift. So even if you've got the money for the down payment, but you don't have the reserve requirement, that is not going to work. We do have a couple of lenders that will allow a gift on a jumbo. So what we would do is instead of the money coming from you, you for the down payment, we would get some of it as a gift for down payment, which would then leave money in your account for the reserve. So we just kind of move things around a little bit, shuffle it and, you know, kind of make the square fit in the circle. So um, definitely, again, something that you want to give us a call, you want to talk to us about, you want to go through you, your situation, what are you trying to buy? What's your credit score? How much down payment do you have? What is your debt to income ratio? One of the things that I also did not mention for Jumbo is that they are much, much tighter on the debt ratio that you can have. So um, definitely, you know, you've got to be in that 43% or under mark. Some lenders will actually require it to be lower, like 38. Again, it depends on the specific lender. But those guidelines are there. They will not let you go 0.1% over whatever their guideline is. You've got to be there right on the money or under. So it is a little bit more difficult 
to qualify for that jumbo loan. There's a lot more paperwork. Even if you're just a W-2 employee with pay stubs, we're still going to get tax returns. So it's going to be a little bit more complicated to get that loan done, but they are there and they do exist. And a lot of people need them. So the best thing that you can do is reach out, talk to us, let us figure out what you're doing. What do you need? What do you have? What's available? And then we'll figure out how to get that structured and which lender is going to work the best for you. So you said you had some exciting something that you found. So let's do it. There is something which Jumbo never really offered this before. So if you want to buy a multi-unit and your credit score is not at the 700, but it's 680, you can put 15.1% down and get into a multi-unit. You don't have to put the 20% down, which is generally the requirement if you want to get a multi-unit and you're below that 700 mark. Wow. It does wow. require 18 months reserves versus 12. I'm going to be honest with you, Heidi. I have actually always had a very difficult time even finding a, le a lender that wanted to do more than a duplex. And many times it was very difficult to even find somebody to do a duplex. Think right. of it this way, even a conventional loan, Fannie Freddie, regular mm -hmm. conventional loan, a duplex is going to require a 20% down payment. Three to four units going to require 25% down. So you've got 15, basically 15, what'd you say? 15.01% 15 <laughs> down for a two unit Two to four two unit. Two to four unit. Uh, that is crazy. Which lenders do that? No, that's a million dollars. Now, right. if you want to go to a million five, it's fifteen. It's fifteen percent. Right. <laughs> exactly. But it goes all the way down to six eighty. Wow. Very good. Mm -hmm. So it just goes to show you guys, there's a loan program for everybody. We've just got to look it up. We've got to research it. We got to dig. We got to find it for you. And then, you know, get you into that property. So if you guys have yeah. any questions whatsoever about Jumbo, you want to learn more, you want to have a consultation, give my call, give my office a call. It's 844-935-3634. Get on the calendar, specifically ask for Heidi. She'd love to talk to you <laughs> and go through it with you. <laughs> she wants to pull out all of the guidelines on every single program and make sure that she knows which one she wants to put you in. Uh, totally kidding. Whoever you want to talk to, give us a call. Get on the calendar. Let's let's talk about it. Let's see what we can do and make sure that we get you guys the, the home that you've been looking for. Debbie Marcoux is licensed by the Department of Business Oversight under the California Residential Mortgage Lender Act, NMLS ID 237926. Also licensed in Arizona, 0941504, Florida, 76508, Georgia, 69178, Illinois, 031.0058339, Nevada, 57237, Oregon, Tennessee, 184373, Texas, Washington, 237926. Heidi Cycle Points, DBO, 1666881, Arizona, 101648.